hey hey everybody welcome back to my channel i am your girl melinda j giving you an an update of the michael Irvin lawsuit situation um i know people have already uh, is already caught up with the with the lawsuit on other channels or other platforms however since i'm still providing up well since i've been consistently providing updates with y'all i'm just going to stick into it until it ends okay but without further ado as i can see and check and i checked up on the latest details of the case the video has been released and like i said it was released while i was um out of town so i basically had to get myself to settle down so i can be able to continue to produce some content but without further ado let's go ahead and get into all it. right so this is coming straight from the dallas morning news because you know that's where it was first reported all right so the three witnesses still still oh uh, still back michael Irvin in the marriott lawsuit after the video has been released excuse me Irvin filed a lawsuit against the hotel chain after female staffer accused him of um sa six weeks have passed since michael Irvin walked into a hotel bar in arizona byron davis joe manuel and phil walken sat at a high top table in dallas cutter inside renaissance phoenix downtown when the former cowboy ride receiver entered february 5th shortly before 11 p.m he wore light gray jeans a tight fitting gray t-shirt and held a black leather jacket davis and manuel recognized him immediately they gave Watkins an australian unfamiliar with american football a brief background on Irvin's career as an athlete and broadcaster through a witness, they offered to buy Irvin a drink. He declined, but so but soon engaged them in conversation. The three men were the final people with whom Irvin interacted before he met a female hotel staffer. The later conversation led to a um, inappropriate, <clears throat> inappropriate um, complaint against Irvin, his indefinite suspension from NFL Network and a defamation lawsuit Irvin filed last week against Marriott. The Renaissance Hotel operating company, his accuser and three other Renaissance employees, Davis Manuel Watkins came forward last month as witnesses to support Irvin. Since then, the general public have learned specifics about the woman's complaint and seen video surveillance footage of less than two minute talk between Irvin and her. Neither development shift their views. They told the Dallas Morning News in phone interviews Friday and Saturday, which was this past Friday and Saturday to be exact. Each man expressed desire to see more video footage, explaining they believe yet to be released recordings could further demonstrate why in their estimation, Irvin has been unjustly treated. Nothing that I saw in recent weeks made me think, oh shoot, maybe I think differently now, or maybe I was wrong, Davis said. Nothing like whatsoever, it seems more fabricated than it did when it started. In my opinion, well, said Watkins, in my opinion, he was essentially canceled into proven innocent. Davis, Manuel, and Watkins said neither the hotel nor NFL has interviewed them about what they saw or heard that evening. They expressed disappointment saying they have been and remain willing to speak on the matter. Oh my goodness. Wow. While sitting nearby, although not eavesdropping, they noticed no indication the conversation between Irvin and the woman was inappropriate. On March 10th, a Marriott attorney filed a motion in an Eastern District Federal Court that reveals details of the female staffer's accusation against Irvin. According to the document, Irvin flagged her down to, the, in, to initiate the conversation. Marriott said he touched her arm during the encounter without her consent, causing her to step back, becoming visibly uncomfortable. The woman reporter Irvin made a lewd comment asking her if she knew anything about having a big black man inside of her. 
she also said he told her that he would find her later in her work week a comment had prompted hotel workers to believe Irvin should vacate the property in a news conference last week Irvin said he totally denies the comment Davis, Manuel, and Watkins disagree with the Marriott's account on how the conversation began. After Irvin took photographs outside the hotel with men, they all walked indoors together. As the three business associates returned to their high top table, they recalled the hotel staff for intercepting Irvin and striking up a conversation. The surveillance video released last week at a news conference provided no definitive clarity a pillar structure in the lobby uh, partially obstructs the camera view. Manuel said he believes the female hotel staffer knew who Irvin was before the conversation oh, in question. Several minutes later, he said their waitress asked about Irvin's identity. Manuel, Manuel recalled the a waitress then spoke to the same woman who later spoke with Irvin. She came over to me asking who it was and went over to see her and then talked to her immediately after Manuel said, it felt to me like the manager sent her waitress to ask me who Irvin was. The surveillance video, which contains no audio, shows the physical contact that occurred between Irvin and the woman. They twice shake hands. Irvin twice extend his right arms and touch her. The woman takes a step back each time. Davis said the other video footage would show Irvin making more physical contact with Davis than he did her. He rubbed my shoulders, Davis said. He was giving me a man hug. He put his arm around me, all that kind of stuff. The whole time I was watching, I'm thinking, Jesus, if he would have done any of that with a woman, this would have looked terrible. He was much more hands-on and buddy-buddy, cozy, all that kind of stuff than with this woman. To me, it appeared he was really respectful. Unlike, oh, and here's the video footage here that you all can visit on the uh, Dallas Morning News. I will not play it on my video and on my channel, even though I am doing this for research and educational purposes only. I am not going to sacrifice my channel for copyright strike due to um, either me not getting credit where credit is due which i do constantly or doing a video footage or showing a video yo, excuse me or showing a video footage to you all so you can see it for yourselves so i am going to leave the link in the description box below as well as the pinned comment after i upload this video so you all can go straight to it if you have not done so already have uh, whether it's on the Dallas Morning News, on any other YouTube channel platform. Um, like I said, I'm building my channel with integrity. Like, I, And I give credit where credit is due. But due to YouTube and their guidelines, and people are very quickly to copyright strike your channel because you are showing the audience for educational and entertainment purposes only under the fair rights act okay i i'm just going to simply just leave the link so you all can push it and look at it for yourself all right on with the article unlike davis and Watkins, manuel stayed at the hotel he noticed the same female staffer at work the next day he and business partner eric Byr byron's a retired MBL, uh, excuse me, MLB player spoke with her. She seemed especially talkative and friendly, Manuel said, given no indication she feared Irvin would find her and do her harm. If she felt threatened, she would have every right not to go to work, Manuel said. If anything, she would have been nearly as engaging with us. Davis, Manuel, and Walken said they were surprised to learn days later about the allegation against Irvin. They found him to be extremely personable, holding court with patrons in the hotel bar and telling football stories. After he declined their drink offer, 
Irvin explained that he had to work the next morning on ESPN. He has since acknowledged consuming alcohol that evening that dinner. Marriott said an employee noticed Irvin's slur in his words, but the three men said they recognized no such behavior. Ooh, we. Davis did not consume alcohol that evening. Irvin discussed the uh, cap. Excuse me. Irvin discussed Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes suggested his legacy could resemble that of Buffalo Bills quarterback Jim Kelly with another Super Bowl loss. He shares his same prediction for the following Sunday in nearby Glendale. The most controversial thing he said was the Eagles were going to win the Super Bowl, Manuel said. In one part of the release surveillance video, Irvin is shown doing what the Marriott described as leering at the female employee while she walked from their conversation. Manuel said that in this moment, Irvin is looking at him after Manuel asked if Irvin really believes the Eagles will win the Super Bowl. Irvin said that he and Manuel recalled on March 8th at news conference Dallas, Irvin began, became emotional when Davis and Watkins spoke to reporters in a video conference call. He said that he was grateful he spoke with those three men that evening because it otherwise could have been just words versus her, his words versus hers. Davis said he has similar thoughts, but the truth is Davis said if we weren't there, he probably would have went upstairs and not spoken to the woman at all. I never even thought about that. Now I feel bad. End of, and that's the end of the article, y'all. So as I stated before, this is the video located on the Dallas Morning News website. And these are the three men that took a picture with him. To the right, well, to the left is Brian Davis. And of course, this is Michael Irvin. This is Phil Watkins, the Australian, and Joe Manuel, okay? All right, so, guys, gals, what are y'all thoughts? What are y'all opinions about this matter? The video has been released. So, yeah, the video has been released. I watched it twice. Okay. Um, my thoughts on the video so far is that it did seem like she was engaging in the conversation. There are times when people have a little too much in their system. They would talk as if they are the drunk uncle in a cookout type of deal like they'll be very talkative and they'll you know do all those um lovey-dovey things but um in the video I did see him like touch her arm a little okay in the video right as he is talking to the female staffer she has her hands like this in front of her engaging in the conversation then of course there is a point in time where he reaches out and touches her arm and she does step back a little bit and still engaging in the, in the conversation because she could have just ended right there after he touched her arm and she stepped back and be like i'll um it's nice meeting you but i had to report back to work at the same time the same person okay at and at the same time now um, looks like another staffer may have been a manager or I may have been a manager at the time that is standing on the other side of the pillar in the bar area and it's a male and you'll see he has on like a vest and his name plaque and all that stuff but he's standing there for the time being waiting for her to finish the conversation with Mike Irvin and then also he walks away but also he still is like keeping an eye on her and then there's like th two other guys that recognizes michael irvin as well that's basically like circling around waiting on him to finish the conversation with the female staffer so they can get an autograph or a picture with him per se and that's what happened at the end of the conversation was that um just based on looking at the video was she had went one way and met with the one of the staffers that was still lingering all along 
waiting on her to finish and they quickly went towards the back possibly towards the break room or the office area in the hotel um however the guy the two guys that was still wandering around one of them managed to you know get a photo with michael irvin closer to the door so there's better lighting and all that stuff but um other than that like i said she was at first she was talking with her hands like this in front of her and once he leaned forward she took a, a couple steps back still engaging in the conversation and it seems like she was like mm, yeah and still talking though it it's not like she's like mm, yeah but she's like mm -hmm, yeah and still engaging in the conversation uh again no telling what happened in the convers what was said in the conversation but the three witnesses that was there they are still sticking to what had transpired in their recounts of that event and then after he had touched her she then put her hands behind her back like this and continued talking to him and then after they conversed a little bit longer then they shook hands and then went on my name business um by the shaking of the hand it seemed like he shook the they shook hands and went on my their business like said a whatever was said in that handshake you know it was done but it wasn't like no handshake and then pulled towards like he was going to kiss her or something like that or try to whisper something in her ear it was just simply a handshake like uh, it was nice talking to you possibly and go on mind our, um, mind our business so that's what i seen in the video um i mean yeah if there, if it's possible of another angle to be released that'll be good as well but as far as what i seen in the video uh, uh right now yeah i mean it, no harm no foul type of deal i guess it just depends on the context of the conversation per se but i do find it odd that the three witnesses that um were in that vasectomy of that conversation was telling was recounting of one of the other waitresses at the bar was trying to get information of who michael Irvin was and then she dispatched that same information um to the girl that he ended up talking to and then that's what led to the converse of the conversation between him and the female staffer so i thought that was i was like hey um it seems like there was something going on because michael Irvin was talking to three guys before he talked to the to the female staffer and what the guys were saying like hey we were just sitting there talking and we seen Michael Irvin and the waitress wanted to know what what's the tea with Michael Irvin and and what's his status per se as far as like is he an NFL player is he an analyst um is he still in the in the league or whatever the case may be and dispatch it to the female employee that later encounter a conversation with Irvin so um I did see that case was dismissed for Marriott in general, but the um, he still refiled for the Marriott in the Arizona where the incident actually took place. So he did take did a he did go by with the recommendation that um, Marriott International is like, hey, we are not in this. You need to take it up with the place that actually happened even though they are underneath our umbrella and we provided the license but other than that um just dismiss it with us and then refile with the marriott in that location where it happened so i did see a um a article with that came about so with that being said what do, what are y'all thoughts about the situation that is at hand with michael irvin um because the three witnesses they said that they gonna stick beside michael Irvin because they said what they said and what the video has shown has not changed their mind 
because they have it's actually more than one person backing it up okay to say the least but other than that i'm gonna leave y'all to it feel free to leave your comments down below in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next one bye